this is a really fun uh, fairy garden collage that I'm going to share with you how to make. I'm using an 8x8 size shadow box, but um, you can also get these in a 12x12 size as well, and we offer them in either white or black. I'm going to use like these fun, bright fairy garden colors, but um, you can definitely use any colors that you like, any kind of pattern that you like. And then I'm going to share a fun idea with you on how you can turn this home decor piece into a nightlight with just one addition. Okay, so I'm going to be making this shadow box um, collage today. And this is an 8x8 white shadow box. You can also get this in a black one version. And then we sell at Craft Warehouse also a 12x12 version of the same. So you can make this in different um, looks and sizes for your home. And the little cute little guys in here that I'm using are all from the Doodlebug collection called Fairy Garden. Um, so mostly I'm using these cute little epoxy stickers. Aren't they sweet? flowers and mushrooms and little fl flutterbys, <laughs> um, rainbows and clouds. And then I have all these little cutout pieces, uh, mushrooms and leaves and clouds, lots of flowers. And all of those, and so, so, so much more, are all from this one pack of embellishments. It's called Odds and Ends. And you get lots and lots and lots of them. I just picked out the tinier ones, some of the tinier ones. Um, but you get all these fun pre-colored, pre-die-cut little embellishments that you can add to your scrapbook pages or your cards or projects. Um, so mostly I need little tiny ones for this kind of a collage, but um, you can see that there's so many different options in this one pack. And I did, and I did this one, this project already, but I'm going to redo it for you in a different, sort of a slightly different look. So I've picked out some of the smaller pieces. I don't know that I'm going to use them all, but I was thinking instead of a fairy for my main piece, I might use this. I think this is super cute. This little firefly jar or lightning bug, depending on where you're from. I think some people, I call them lightning bugs, honestly, but I think the common term is firefly. So what I'm going to do is take this apart so you can see how it works. So there are just like any frame, there are these little tabs that hold it down and I'm just going to take off the backing. Okay. And we'll set this aside. And then there's going to be a piece of liner paper or cardboard in there. I left mine in there, but I'll just so you can see, this is what the actual packaging looks like. Okay, you don't have to have that. And then for this project, you want a white piece of paper and you trim it to the size of your opening, which is 8x8. Eight eight. So this is a white piece of cardstock and then a white piece of vellum. And the vellum is what we're going to put, do all the artwork on. Okay. So vellum is a translucent paper. You can see my hand through it. I pref I like the vellum. You don't have to use it. You could just do this directly on the white. But I like the look of the vellum because I think it just softens everything. Okay, and then I'm going to set this whole frame aside. I don't need that right now. Okay, so you'll notice that my design is in a circle, circular form. And you don't have to make a circle. You can make a heart, a square, a triangle. Um, whatever kind of shape you want, all you need is a template. So for the round shape, I'm actually going to use this piece of paper the opposite side. And if you look closely, I've sketched a pencil. And with pencil, what I did is I just found a household object that was the shape and size that I wanted. Here's a little bowl. Put it on, center it on this piece of paper, and then just drew with a pencil around. I'm going to go ahead, just so you can see it better, I'm just going to follow that over with a black marker. This part is something that nobody's ever going to see, and this does not have to be an absolutely perfect circle either. We just kind of need the overall dimension. But I think this shows up on the camera a little better for you. Okay, then what you do is take a piece of vellum that is the same size. So I have pre-cut this to 8x8 so it fits into my shadow box. If you're doing a 12x12, obviously you'll trim it to that size. Okay, and then what else you'll need is some adhesive. I'm going to use gl mini glue dots. I've got like a whole little sh packs of sheets of them. Packs of sheets? Sheet of pack? Sheets. <laughs> and 
And so the glue dots are, let me pull one open here for you so you can see it. The glue dots sometimes come in a roll or sometimes on a sheet. Do you we see this little glossy circular thing here? That is a glue dot. You do not want to touch a glue dot with your fingers because your fingers, the oils on your fingers or dirt or whatever will remove the sticky. So you stick that which you want to stick down. We'll take one of these little hearts. You stick the glue dot on the back of the little heart. And then when you're ready, you would peel this off and to reveal this the glue and stick that where you want it. So that's how glue dots work. And then the other kind of adhesive that you can choose to, to use if you want to are just regular pop dots. You might find this in a square form or in a roll, but it's a, it's a dimensional adhesive. Okay. So if we refer back to my original, you'll notice that some of my little guys, I'll turn on end. Do we see the little white foam in there? That's just so that some of them are raised up above others and you can tuck things in and behind. So the first thing to do is choose your pieces. We've done that. We've made our circle and now we want to choose a focal piece. And this one I did the fairy, but this time I want to do the lightning bug jar or firefly jar. I'm going to turn it over and on this one I do want to put some dimensional adhesive because I want this one to stick up. And then these just have a little bit of paper on the back side. So again, you do not have to, just because I'm making this one kind of cute and colorful, you don't have to do that. You can make it whatever look you want to go for. In fact, here's a really fun, totally different look. This is a paper pad called Luna. And look at all these super cute celestial stars and the moon. Look at all these fun things. So you could definitely use some of this, cut some of this apart. So you don't have to buy special stickers or anything. You can cut these different things apart, use stamps or die cuts to cut them apart. And then maybe for this part, instead of little embellishments like that, maybe you have some glitter or some sequins and you could make yourself like a crescent moon shape and do that for your collage part portion. Okay, so I've got this guy glued on onto the vellum. The circle is underneath as my guide. Another reason why the vellum is nice to use for this. If you were skipping the vellum, you would just do it in pencil like my original, and then you could just put it directly on the paper and just very, very lightly trace the circle with a pencil that you could erase later if you needed to. Okay, so now I want to sort of define the edges a little bit. So looking at some of my die cuts, I have a couple of florals here that have an arc in them, and that's gonna be perfect to kind of frame the design. So what I like to do is sort of start to lay out some of the bigger pieces so I can figure out where I want those to lay and how, and how to help me best conform to that shape, in this case, a circle. I, I really like these clouds, so and also they're bigger, so I'm gonna see what those look like. And by mixing and matching with flat glue and dimensional adhesive, I'll be able to really pile these into different looks. I, want, I definitely want at least a firefly or a lightning bug or two in here. And I like the purple and the blue clouds. And I probably need some more florals. So you see how I'm taking all the bigger pieces. I don't think I'm going to use the birdie or the hedgehog, but they are cute, aren't they? <laughs> So anyway, I'm going to glue those down and then I'll fill in the little, this smaller space with the smaller hearts and leaves and flowers. And then look at all the glossy, how that adds so much dimension. And those are from these little st epoxy sticker sheets. So before I go any further and before I lose your attention, um, I am going to finish this, but I want to show you my idea for how to turn this really fun project into a nightlight. It's so fun. Okay. I'm just gonna set this aside. I know they're not glued down, but that's okay. We'll go back to the one that I did glue. And when you get ready to put yours together, you'll just turn this over so you have the white side, minus a little glitter. <laughs> and we'll set those like that, right? So to put this together and to make it a nightlight, I'm gonna have my um, shadow box frame. I'm gonna turn it so I'm looking at the inside. And then what I want facing out goes down first. And so I want my collage 
and there's this little lip here and because I cut this to the 8x8 it will fit right on there okay and then to do it like I had it you would put this on and put the back back together but to make this a nightlight I'm gonna have just the white or the vellum in there and then I have at Craft Rails, we sell these really fun um, firefly lights and so they're teeny tiny lights on a wire and this is a battery operated pack let me turn it on so I have these really cool lights and they're very very thin right so I'm just now you could um, glue these to the the inner lip here with a hot glue I am actually just going to kind of set these in here and then which way is the bottom of my okay this is the bottom so I'm gonna put this at the bottom this wider cord and, and then I'm gonna just layer feed all of this wire in here and like I say you can glue this so it's a little bit more strategically placed but I just want it this the thin part of this wire is what's going to go around that around the lip of the frame and I'm gonna push that down so just setting it on there and I want to back that with the white paper, so I'm going to use the side that I didn't mark on. Like that. Okay, and then I'm going to put the backing piece on. I just want to get this going so you could see it, and then I'll go back to making my putting the collage together. So see, it's a little narrow frame. It has no problem getting the backing on. Let me close up. See how it just sticks out the back? And then you can either attach this battery pack to the back of this if you wanted to, or you can just have it, depending on if you're going to put it on a shelf, you have it behind. So here's the front, and let me turn on the lights. So I have fun little twinkle lights going on. Let me move these lights out of the way. Look at that. And then this one ha comes with a remote. So you can change the direction and the speed and the um, different, the way it, light it lights up. I like this glowy one. Isn't that cute? But would this make such a fun nightlight? And like you're in a little one's room. And of course, can you imagine that celestial one I was talking about before with this paper and like a crescent moon out of some gold sequins or something? So you see, you really change up this idea. And how much fun would it be to make for like Halloween and do this with like little Halloween bits and doodads? <laughs> or for holiday or... It actually would be really fun for like a wedding decor too, like for one of your table pieces. Um, because you could do your initials. You could spell those out in your little collage if you wanted to or with sequins or whatever works for you. Okay, I'm going to set this... It's so pretty to look at. I'm gonna set her right here so she's still we can still kind of see her and I'll get back to work. Let's try some of these different modes. Ooh, that one's fun. I like that one. Okay. So let me get back to work here. Of course I'm gonna need the circle in there, but <laughs> that's okay. I'll just make myself a new one. I'm just gonna do it a lot darker. Now, of course, this would be a white piece of paper, but just so you get the idea. And we can start building this out, okay? So we just need our glue dots and some um, foam tape. And we can go to town. One of the things I like about these sheets too is this is the sheet version of glue dots is something that makes it easier for you to have others help you. So like I could reveal, here's a row of four glue dots. And then I can take little teeny um, papers and sort of get these all prepped. So now I have these four stickers ready to go. I just peel them when I'm ready for them. So that's something else that this makes a fun like family project. If you want to get other people involved in helping you. And see, I'm never I'm not touching the glue, so it's really 
kind of mess free. <laughs> as mess free as drafting can get. <laughs> I definitely want hearts. I definitely want more purple than anything in here. Ooh, look at this purple tulip. It's cute. Okay, so I'm getting all those little guys done. And then we can do the same thing with some foam. I can... I definitely want a purple. I really want that purple guy. And then let's glue these guys down. These are kind of what I, I call the my anchor pieces. So this bigger one might get too. So I'm going to smash a glue dot on sort of the head and then kind of down here at the bottom. It doesn't take much glue adhesive for this because remember it's going to be under glass. So everything will be sort of protected. It's not like people aren't going to be able to get at it and pick at it, you know. And also being behind glass, it just makes it really easy to clean. You can just dust it off once in a while <laughs> if you need to. And you can see through the vellum, I can see my circle and that just gives me sort of a guide to follow. And you don't, you don't have to be exact about it. Just kind of following that general shape. Do you have to do that part? No, you could just randomly scatter embellishments all over the place too. Or like I said, you could just cut apart paper in different colors and then you would just have a vellum layer. So you would have, if you're gonna do the lights, you would have your different colors papers where I have white and then your layer of lights and then vellum with whatever embellishment you wanna put on the vellum. You could print on the vellum. Maybe you wanna print a, a verse or some words or maybe you, it's a just kind of a single word that you want on there that you could, um, uh, print going through the printer, you know, you could do that. Okay, I'm going to tuck this because this guy's raised up. I can tuck the cloud kind of behind, and I'm going to go through and get all my anchor pieces on. I think I want this guy um, raised up a little bit, so I'll put a pop dot on him. And like I said, you don't have to use nearly as much embellishment or adhesive. Um, for these embellishments as you would, let's say, if you were putting them on a greeting card because um, they don't take, they're not going to take, uh, they can get picked at and, and fussed with as much as a greeting card can. Joanna says that she loves this. Thank you, Joanna. Suzanne, you love being able to create home decor with cute products yeah, and paper, yes. This is a really fun one. Terry says, you always have such cute ideas. Aw, thanks Terry. We miss you, Terry. Yes, this is a really fun summer kid project for sure. Okay, I want, where, I need another cloud. Here. See, and once you get start putting in the bigger pieces, the rest of it just starts. The rest of it's just easy. I'm putting down lots of purple pieces right now. I want to make sure, because I'm kind of going for a mostly purple theme, so I'm trying to fill in most of my purple stuff first, because I'm definitely not going to need all of this. And I did, I did this project already with all of this, so this, these packages go a long way, especially when you're just using a little bit. And the ephemera pack, where all this paper came from, I look, I mean, look how much I still have left. So, and I've done other projects with this pack too. Now you don't have to do the lights. Um, there's a, the other thought, instead of white and, and also instead of lights, is you could do paper. So there's a really cute coordinating paper for this collection. Look at this one. These little lightning bugs. And then we got clouds on the backside. 
Um, let me just show you what this one looks like. I'll lay this over the top. So see, you still get the lightning bugs, but it's soft. The vellum softens it a little bit and let's, let's allows this part to kind of stand out. Isn't that cute? And let's look at what it looks like with the clouds. Now you still could sandwich the lights between the vellum and whatever paper you want. If you want, you know, I would suggest that because this is really busy and this is really busy and then the lights too, that might be a bit much for this look. So, but this way where you have something that's a little bit more tone on tone, kind of a solid, you might be able to, that I think would look cute. Okay, back to our project. <laughs> So I think I've picked out most of the purpley stuff and then I haven't used any of these epoxies yet. So let's look at those. Okay. I see a super cute mushroom set. Got to have this little purple. I'm going to put him right by his big brother there. And what do we have on here? Oh, look at these teeny, teeny, tiny hearts. Now you could pick, you know, these are already sticky. Now you can pick these up with your finger, um, but there's a really cool tool. This is called the quick stick tool, also known as the quicker poker picker upper <laughs> because it has a chisel tip on this end and you pull this out, it has a pointy tip on this end, which is really handy if you do vinyl cutting or anything like that because you can weed, weed with it or rub things on or move glue where you want it, that kind of thing. This chisel tip has also works to push your cuticles back. I don't know if you knew that. <laughs> But this side is the magical side. And under this lid is this green low tack goop. And it's kind of like this, it's made of, it's like the same stuff that is like, um, that's kind of putty you used to hang up your posters on your wall when you're like 12 and not pushing 40. <laughs> okay, what you do, I'm gonna see if I can bring this close to the camera. I don't know if it'll work, not on a flat surface but you kind of push this against the little embellishment. So now it's stuck. My temporary glue is stuck on my purple embellishment, but the sticky side of my little purple embellishment has not been touched. So it's still just as sticky as it was before. And now with this tool, I can precisely place this little heart wherever I want it. So I can put nestle her in right there. So see, I gave her a little home right there. Isn't that cute? So the, yeah, this tool is super handy. I don't know about you, but sometimes picking up little gems or doodads can be kind of daunting because um, when you do it with your fingernails, it's like you lose half of them because they fly up and they stick on you or they stick on your fingernail, you know, they fly off and they go on the, to the carpet, all of that kind of stuff. I can use it for one of these bigger pieces. Okay, yeah. So I use the chisel tip to pick up a bigger one. Ooh, I think I'm gonna land that guy on top of that guy. That's cute. Terry likes the lightning bugs. Oh, good. Yes, the quick stick. <laughs> I like to call it the quicker poker picker upper. <laughs> okay now we have a lot of space to fill in I kind of used up a lot of the purple I see one more here and then I'm gonna fill in the rest of my space okay I definitely want some of these cute clouds I'm gonna overlap these guys a little bit and some more mushrooms And there's more for hours. And I really like this little snail. I'm gonna put him kind of on top of that mushroom. And then there's teeny little leaves as well. So let's come back to my, I'm gonna save the rest of these cause they're so small to fill in areas. I'm gonna fill in some of the rest of this, um, sort of my medium size holes here with some of these embellishments and mostly probably be blue dots. 
So I hope that you all are members of the Paper Crafts Facebook group that Craft Warehouse has. Um, I'm going to be back on Wednesday over on that page and I'm going to be doing pocket letters same time about one o'clock and that particular event will include a really fun giveaway of scrapbook supplies, scrapbook stamp supplies. I probably will have four or five gifts on Wednesday so I hope that you will check that out. It's all part of our continued celebration of National Paper Cra National Scrapbook weekend we're just celebrating all month long and just like this one you're not limited to just scrapbooks you know there's so many fun um, things that you can do with paper card making tag making um, planners uh, bullet journals um, obviously scrapbook pages um, and then it's really fun to do home decor stuff like this and then if you like journaling or art journaling I mean that's the place that's a place for you too. art journaling is um, I like art journaling because it gives you a chance to experience for me I think of it as a way to experiment with different techniques and see what you're into see what you like um, it's also a way of sort of expressing yourself. It's, it's really a form of therapy, I think. <laughs> okay, so it's coming together. Now I've got a lot of, I've got a lot of the color I wanted in there. I'm gonna fill in with some other colors to brighten it up. Some of the pinks and oranges, I think I'll bring in maybe a little yellow. I'm really digging this mushroom, but it's so big. Maybe this one will be cuter. And I'm just gonna mix and match with some, some things with pop dots and some things with glue dots. And I'm gonna kind of work from medium to smaller and then to teeny to fill in the holes. Look at this little frog. He's so sweet. You could, in a collection like this, you could add something and kind of have it be like a fun, especially if you have your kiddos helping you make this, make it sort of a, a crafty version of Where's Waldo, you know, put it, put in the frog somewhere and see, you know, if people can find it. Or maybe even something tinier, like, Look at this little tiny sweet ladybug. You could put a ladybug in here and, and have that be sort of a fun surprise, you know? gonna quickly fill out the rest of this now see that's where I should have used my quick stick that would have been so much better with quick stick that little guy stuck to me where I didn't want it there we go and then here's a here's a tip too um, notice how he, he, this one accidentally flipped over, and so I don't have very much of the of the sticky part of that showing. I can pull out the back side of this tool, and then I can use it to help me get it where I wanted it to, where I wanted it. And I can use the chisel tip to position it where I want it. Yeah, this tool comes in handy for a lot of things, especially little gemmies. I have this pack, I have these packs too, of little epoxy gems, and I think maybe some of these blue ones would be cute. They have a little glitter in them. Not cute. And so this tool will definitely be handy to pick some of these up and position here and there.
like doing these like in little clusters. I think that's kind of cute. I like that. Adds a lot of cute little dimension. I need a lot more glossy stuff, I see. I think I do. <laughs> I feel like I need glossy. So I'm going to add a bunch of these bigger ones too. And I'm just trying to pay attention to my circle, my outs outside circle shape. And then if I have anything outside the shape, like I see I accidentally have, I'm doing pretty well. This guy's a little bit too far outside of the circle for it to be a cohesive circle. So I'm just going to, because it's vellum, be able to pry this up pretty easily and relocate it. Same thing with this little blue mushroom. He landed a little too far outside of where I wanted him. See, if this had been paper, your vellum, your paper might um, lift a little bit, you know, tear, and when you pull up something sticky off of it. But vellum is, is kind of a plastic feel, so it's a little easier to manipulate. And it's just fun to fill in all these little, all the space with these little cuties. Okay, I think I need some more of these little, some more bright colors. Well, just a little bit more. I like these teeny tiny pink flower shapes. And I definitely need a little touch more orange as well. Okay, I'm pretty well done. I'm just going to make sure that it looks circular. I'm looking for any kind of holes. Or like right here I have a lot of purple so I'm just going to put in more, just a touch more green in there the hole right up there all right should we add should we add a little pink ladybug should we gotta find a good place for her i mean what i'm gonna do since this is on a clear sheet i can just hold this over the top and think about where i might tuck her in at Oh, she could live on top of a flower. Ooh, I think I see her new home. I'm gonna put her on top of this little blue jemmy and a little bit over that flower. Just see where she lives. Okay, super cute. I think she's all filled in now. And look how much I still have left that I thought I was gonna use. I could easily do a whole nother one of these. So I could, so that would be three of these of this eight by eight size. Okay, let's see what this one looks like under the light, over the lights. Again, I'm using eight by eight, but you can make a 12 by 12 version of this. If you would rather. Now, if you don't glue the lights down, you could, sw you could change this out seasonally um, or as, you, as the mood strikes. <laughs> or more appropriately, when um, the cute new thing shows up and you have to have it. <laughs> You're like, that, uh, those embellishments are so cute. So I'm gonna put the marker side up so you don't see it, but let's go ahead and lay in our lights. I'm making sure what side is up. So like I said, you could glue these down or you can just set them in there the little shelf that the vellum is sitting on raises it back, keeps it back from the actual um, glass. So that means you have um, a little more wiggle room if you don't want to glue it and yet still the ability to glue it down if you wanted to. Okay, and then lay this guy on top of that. Make sure that this is on this cord is just to where it gets thin, right there. Then it'll 
seat in pretty easily. Okay, get back out there. There we go. And then I'm gonna put those little tabs down and let's reveal how she looks. Aw, she's cute. I'm gonna turn these lights away. That's cute. Oh, I, okay, see it cups a little bit right here. Actually, that's kind of cute. That's not what I was going for. <laughs> what happened is it just fell down off the little shelf. I pushed the um, lights down a little too hard. Yeah, she just got puckered down off of that shelf. And you could certainly put a glue dot in each corner to hold your vellum totally flat, but I like the idea of being able to interchange it. So that's worth, you know, fussing with this just a little bit. But isn't the nightlight addition like so fun? And then the other cool thing about these firefly lights is that um, they have the, because they have the, um, the remote, the remote also has a timer. So you can have it turn on and turn on um, instead of just you having to manually do it all, every, every night, you know? And that'll save your batteries. Like I say, you could, you could permanently mount this um, battery pack to the back of this if you wanted to because this, the batteries are always accessible right here. You also have a manual off and on with this guy. And this will, and you push it enough times, it'll go through all of the modes as well. Let's turn it over and check her out. She is so pretty. Let's try some of these different modes. Now I'm using the white ones, but we have these in a soft, like a, like a yellowy, I think it's called soft white, but it's kind of like a golden glowy look. Um, and then we have them in different colors as well. So fun, so fun. Well, this fun little nightlight project was, um, as you saw, super easy to put together. Really no skill, <laughs> just so easy. I really loved it. I hope you guys will make something like this soon. Thanks for joining me and I hope that you um, join Paper Crafts Club if you haven't already and I will be there on Wednesday with a fun project and lots of prizes. Okay, thanks you guys. See you later.